how I built these designs, this top, this epoxy, and these legs. So we cut some straight pieces, some angled pieces, and glue them up six times over. Cut the fourth wood to sit in between and on top, cut through that end grain, and beautiful first design done. Then quickly chop up big, small, and rectangular pieces, glue those bad boys up together, cut through the end design, and again, the second design was done. Here we go with the third, cut some slabs, glued some slabs, and made some 30 degree cuts. Cut the strips, glued them together, and cut through the end grain of the third beautiful design. Oh, the fourth, the kaleidoscope. This one was a bit of angled straight, half cutting, gluing and randomizing the end grain, cutting through the end grain and having a sensational fourth design. Then it was time to bring it all together, cutting them all exactly 90 and combining them all with some small symmetric strips. Next was to grab the epoxy, swirl it around, make it black, pour it in the center, varnish and sand the whole thing and would you look at that. Chopped up some nice fine pine lengths, angled them, cut them nice in the center and chucked these bad boys together. And that's how I made this incredible original coffee table. It took me months to make, film and edit, chuck me a like, follow and subscribe.